Sorry, sir. Alrighty. Well, thank you very much. Okay. Bye-bye. Yep. Bye. They don't even have one. So a customer dropped off this 2005 Skidoo Expedition 600 HO and they had put some studs on the track, little, the little screw-in style studs, and bottomed out and took out the right hand front cooler. This outer row of studs is what punctured the cooler, but it's a little further up. It currently runs, but obviously there's no coolant in it. Let's see if we can find a cooler. We're not going to tear it apart completely until I can find a cooler and know that we can get one uh, just because it is going to be a little bit more labor intensive we don't want to waste the customer's money in, in having to tear it apart and then oh we can't find the part so, so we're going to try and get the work done and try to find the part before we actually tear it down so all right let's go see if we can find it all right you don't have it okay well, thank you for your time. Well, we've called every single snowmobile and ATV salvage in what we call the lower 48, but uh, the United States and the other few that are here in Alaska. We're not having any luck at all. Nobody has parted out one of these 05 Expedition 600 wide tracks at all. So what we're needing is the front right cooler. We've exhausted all our efforts in the United States, so we are on to Canada. We're on partshotline.ca. You can check out this site. You can send a parts request. All of the different salvage places in Canada. For you are calling has recently been disconnected. All right, so I guess they're not open anymore. In British Columbia. Like yeah, I'm looking for a skidoo part. Uh, Canadians are always cool, man. They're always nice. Thank you very much. Yeah. Bye. Bye. I'll come this get back to you in a few hours. Alrighty, thank you. Thank you, bye. Keep searching, I guess. Yeah. Two thousand three ZL six hundred. I didn't get a video of the teardown and diagnosis, but this thing was melted. But all the parts are in. We had most of the engine parts on hand for this. Uh, need the whole new top end. Power valves were completely welded into the cylinder. That thing's going in the shop and we'll get that thing going. cylinder and we got new power valves with cables that's gonna go on it and a new pro x piston kit i had to pound the power valve out with a chisel so this wrist pin would not come off because it was just welded Bolt in the it's working nice and easy and she's out that thing was in there. Yeah, I was wondering if you could uh, check to see if you have a part in stock. No. Nothing? We do not. Sorry, sir. Alrighty. Let me see if we have. I'm not sure if we do or not, but uh, I don't remember yeah. wrecking any ones like this. I, I don't have one here right now, but... Okay. Alrighty. I'm gonna keep calling. Well, they didn't even answer. Apparently the sled guy is not available. Right now the cylinders and new pistons are in. And she turns over good now. And we're gonna get the head on. We've got new power valves going in. A new cylinder, the new pistons, and then new power valves in. And we're gonna fire it up. It's got some coolant in it and see if it'll start. Yeah, 
pretty catastrophic top end damage. So, just taking her nice and easy, seeing if she breaks in nice. That's what I'm running into is I'm trying to find the one place yeah. that has. <laughs> well, where are we going? We're going to Willow. To do what? Picking up uh, a 2001 uh, YZ250F. Alright guys, check out this new bike we have for the part slot today. It is a 2001 YZ250F. The engine for that. Looks like it was all top end damage. We'll see if there's any bottom end damage when we get to dismantling it. So if you're looking for parts for a 2001 YZ250F, be sure to give Lefties a call. And check out our merchandise at shoplefties.com. No luck yet. Um, nobody has parted one out. Two places that are supposed to call me back. Uh, one in Ontario and I think one in British Columbia. 